play with the hose pipe is about to take on new meaning. Firefighter! There's an emergency. The call from the chief fire officer summons help. They'll need to explore their ideas verbally to find better ways of hosing the burning building. Firefighters! Leadership and cooperation will be vital as the fire spreads. Martina and Matthew explore how to improve the flow rate through the hose. We need to, we need to sort all the fires out. They experiment and make suggestions. There's emotional empathy, but they keep calm and identify when things aren't working. You have to put it down. Martina has a clear style, demanding results. Yeah, like that. But equally offers reassurance as the emergency gets worse. The children raise their game as the situation becomes more serious. The children constantly compare the effectiveness of their different methods. They are physically dexterous. Millie's squeezing increases the pressure, as does the chief fire officer's foot. He rallies the team as they evaluate their progress. Swinging the tube is making the water reach the higher flames but they continue to strive for better methods to fill the funnel. I have to make it down. But Martina's started quite a debate about whether squeezing is having the opposite effect on delivering the water. The sense of danger increases as the fire count rises and the drama reaches new heights as one of the firefighters collapses in the smoke and fumes. Georgia! Martina brings forward her fire engine to attempt the rescue. But the water's stopped and she feels responsible to her former task. Pouring water down the funnel is more likely to serve the overall good. Despite the frantic calls for help, the fire chief keeps his team aware of not becoming reckless. The children are completely involved, emotions spilling over on reaching the bodies. Luckily, Dwayne shows great skills of leadership, despite the difficult circumstances. Come on down the fireman pole. Can you do it? He is calm and reassuring to the end.